Hey kids, this is Mrs. Sweeney, and I'm at school, and I was waiting for our two-hour delay kids to show up, and then realized I missed a text, and that we are on e-learning today, so here's what you're going to learn today. Because February 1st, which is coming up on Tuesday, is Chinese New Year, based on the moon, Lunar New Year, not like ours, calendar. And we were going to have a Chinese New Year party today during Flex. Well, that's postponed, but unknowingly, I had went ahead and we, we decorated some yesterday, my great Flex kids and some of my club kids. We put up a cool doorway. I would, well, actually, I'll show it to you. It came down, but it is so cool. It has so many decorations, and I am going to, since I am here at school anyway, I'm going to put a bunch more up, and we're going to postpone until next week. But I'm going to show you some of the beautiful, authentic Chinese items. Oh, and also inauthentic, <laughs> not really Chinese, but I'll show you those too, that I brought in. And my mother, who is 88 years old and authentically completely Chinese, she's awesome. Um, she's going to come in when we have the party next week, too, during Flex. So even if you're not in Art and Garden Club, hey, you can still come by and meet her. And she'll tell us a little bit of her history and how they used to celebrate it when she was in mainland China and then later in Taiwan. But uh, I brought in some really cool things I had from home. This is a, a, a very fancy, real Chinese doll that I remember used to play with these when I was little. I wasn't really supposed to play with them because they're more like fancy dolls, but beautiful. It has silk and lots of little details. And here's a gorgeous Chinese fan. I got this actually at a yard sale, believe it or not, but isn't it beautiful? Look at that. You can take it off and you can fan with it and everything. And then I have some beautiful decorations that were hanging at my old house. I brought those in. I'll go ahead and have those hanging all next week. And let's see, what else do I have? Um, just a beautiful silk purse I had. And this is a silk traditional um, dress that has, they call these frogs. These little uh, uh, clasped with the little... Um, kind of uh, bumps here. Those are clasped and they're called frogs. Has the high collar, uh, authentic Chinese dress. My mom says uh, a lot of the people, like when she's living in Taiwan, they don't really dress like this anymore. She was, when she went back and visited, she loved to dress authentic Chinese and she was like one of the only ones around dressing like this. They usually like saved it for special occasions. But she bought this and, and brought it back after her visit. And then, what else do I have? Oh, this is kind of cool. Of course, my kids love this tradition. This is the little red envelope. And my mom said that the older, um, older ones of the family, they would put money in it and give it to the younger ones um, for Chinese New Year and, you know, for prosperity. And I don't know if this part's the truth, but she said as you get really, really older, the, it kind of flips, the tradition flips, and then the younger ones that are then more mature, making, I guess, the money in the, they would then give it to the older ones. So I don't, she might have made that part up. But anyway, pretty cool. And then some things that were just fun that I got from, as you see, a novelty store. Um, some chopsticks, we're gonna learn how to use chopsticks um, at the party. This was something cool. A few of you will know what this is. Um, it's, it's a type of origami uh, paper folding where you fold it up and it's that little game where you have your hands and you're doing this and stuff with both your hands. I, don't, I have to hold the phone to do my videos. So I can't show you with my other hand because I'm at school and I don't have my really good camera and tripod, so I'm filming it on my phone. But this is a, just a fun little fortune game that you all can put together and play with. Here's the little silk pouches that we put jewelry in. I used to love these things when I was little play around them. It has a little snap made out of silk. Now this is a Mrs. Sweeney very cheap version of the fun little drum noise maker. I used to have one that actually was like a, a miniature drum with the you know the, the leather sides and it was really cool but it broke. Of course I broke it because I played with it too much but here's the cheapy plastic version. Beautiful napkins and what else do I have here? Oh look at that helium tank because I love helium balloons. And I'm going to have some, on the actual party day, can't do it ahead of time, but party day, I'm going to have heart balloons because I just love hearts. has nothing to do with Chinese New Year, but that's okay. And, yeah, the balloons have nothing to do with it. But 
All the red, as you see, is the favored Chinese color, of course. The Chinese celebration of uh, the Lunar Chinese New Year is really two weeks long. And the starting date isn't always February 1st. That just happens to be this year. It falls on different days each year. And this is the year of the tiger. Now, I do have, I'm looking for my little Chinese calendar. Oops, I don't know where it went. But if I find it, oh, here it is, here it is. It's buried underneath all my other red stuff. But here's a laminated version. I got this a long time ago from a Chinese restaurant. They used to have these little paper placemats. And it's a rotation of every 12 years. It doesn't go like our uh, American, well, you know, Zodiac, where it's like every month has a different sign. It's every year, the year that you're born, and then after 12 years, it kind of goes back into the cycle. I'm the year, I'm 19, I was born in 1964, so I'm the year of the dragon, which is the preferred, and this is the year of the tiger. And so you get to look at, you know, some of these things when we come back. Oh, and fortune cookies. I don't care. I know it's not it's not authentically Chinese. I actually can make my own and they taste really, really good. We used to stick our own fortunes in them. These are some I bought. It's really not a Chinese tradition. Everybody thinks it is, I guess. It's really American. I heard it was like a, a man up at New York had put biblical verses in them. And I guess for some reason the the restaurants or something picked up on it. But, you know, now pretty much every Chinese restaurant has fortune cookies, but it's not really a chinese -y thing. But they're fun, so who cares? And then citrus is important. And so I got little um, cuties, and then I have bigger oranges in here that I'm going to actually slice up, which is actually kind of a thing that you do at Chinese meals anyway. You have slices of orange. It kind of cleans your palate. It's also traditional, you know, even like for dessert in a sense. Then noodles are important. Also for birthdays, not just Chinese New Year, but um, long noodles. Longer the better, and that means long life for the year. Now, fish is important, but I, I figure a lot of you probably wouldn't eat my fish if I cooked real fish <laughs> and stink the place up. So I saw these in the grocery store, and hey, they're red, and they were a little Swedish fish. It says they're red Nordic fish, <clears throat> and they're usually not candies, but... Um, yeah, it'll represent the fish. You want to have lots of food on Chinese New Year, but you wouldn't want to do a whole bunch of work on Chinese New Year. You want to do it all ahead of time because you kind of set the tone for the year on that day. And I'm trying to think what else I have. Oh, I have some lanterns up that the kids helped me hang. Here's a really, here's my favorite one. Haven't hung it up yet, but it's awesome. Lanterns are beautiful. And we're going to have... See these cookers? My mom's going to help me on a party day, and we're going to make, uh, you all call them dumplings. I call them jiaozi, and they're kind of like a, a noodle with filling inside. And we're having some other stuff. Oh, yeah, rice. Okay, there's my rice pot. But things like that, soy sauce, whatever we can kind of think of. Oop, there we go. Looking for more things. There's some lanterns way over there I'm going to put up today. But that's basically the gist of it. Oh, and also, I wrote on the board. Now, I wrote it phonetically on my dirty board, how you could say, um, like, Happy Chinese, well, Happy New Year. Of course, you wouldn't say Happy Chinese New Year if you're Chinese, right? Be Happy New Year. And I spell it out so it's phonetic. It's a Xin Yang Kwai La. Xin Yang Kwai La. Oops, sorry. You can't say it like a question. It has to be very forceful at the end, my mother told me. Xin yang kuai le. And that means New Year happiness. Oh, I wrote down here, gun shi, gun shi. That's more of saying like congratulations or like a greeting. So the end was more authentic. So um, hope you enjoy this video for today's learning. Xin yang kuai le.